Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Chainsaw Man Chapter 119. We're back from break and this week's chapter is titled Thief. I'm wondering who is the thief here? Who is being accused of being thief and by whom? I have a sneaking suspicion that Naita being the control devil uh, or the conquest devil uh, would see someone trying to get into a relationship with Denji, or you know, someone trying to claim ownership of Denji, and would be like, "You're a, you're a goddamn thief. You're a thieving bitch." It'd be funny to imagine like the six-year-old child calling someone a thieving bitch. Um, but we're just gonna have to read it to find out. So, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd like to try and hit at least a hundred likes on this week's reaction. And without any further ado, let's get right into the chapter. All right, we've got, I guess this is Denji's apartment here. It looks about as shitty as you would expect, in all honesty. All right, they're standing there looking at each other in front of the door. Unbreakable rule one, don't open the door to any apartment other than mine. Um, okay, why would I open them? Don't be ridiculous. Good point, that is a good point. Well, come on in. Are you just gonna give her the rules as you go, or...? Alright, they come into her ha into his house. We have an unpacked box. An, an unemptied box. There's a trash bin right next to the table. It looks like there's a bunch of shit on the ground. I think that's children's drawing supplies. Is that a bunch of holes in the door? And they got a really old TV set. Let's see here. They're sitting there watching TV. They don't even have a cat. Wait. They don't even have a couch. I don't think we've seen enough people's houses around in this series to know. Well, did Aki's apartment have a couch? I can't remember if he had a couch or not. Because I know, you know, in Japan... Yeah, they have chairs and shit, but it's it's pretty standard to just sit on like some sort of cushion or mat on the floor, and that seems to be what they're doing. There is a bag, there is a chart for March farts. I guess we're ticking off who's farted when. And we have a meal thing there, interesting. They're just sitting there, and then Daddy goes, oh! Rule number two, don't open the fridge. It's common sense not to open someone else's fridge. Oh, okay, that is true. Rule number three, this is the most important one. My roommate's out walking the dogs. She'll be home soon. She's a huge problem child with an extreme personality. You call her your roommate. Though, haven't you explained that you have a sister before? Yet that she's your little sister. No matter what, don't what, <laughs> don't make out with me in front of her. Huh? Excuse me? Like hell, am I gonna make out with you? That is not why I came over. Huh? Uh, I know, but one thing might lead to another, and in your dreams, why did you even bring that up? Do you think I like you? Uh, I mean, you asked me on a date. I figured you must be, you must 90% like me. There's no way I'd like you. On the contrary, I hate you. Say what? You hate me? Yeah, I hate you. Besides. Alright, yeah, this is awkward. You have rules you have to obey or die, right? Well... So do I. You should just stay away from me, Denji, or you'll wind up dead. I only went on a date with you because I wanted a distraction. I'll leave after the movie. Well, that sucks. Well, uh, so you made this really awk- Well, uh, I don't know who I would blame for making this really awkward, because, uh, going on your second date with someone and saying, by the way, don't make out with me, that's, you know, theoretically presumptuous. I know Denji's not trying to be presumptuous. He's just stating a rule. 
Because Denji's kind of dumb. He's not the best at social interaction. Uh, but Asa, uh, that was a little bit of oversharing. You didn't really need to tell him all that. Huh? So, she was only using me? Isn't it normal to ask someone on a date because you like them? Did I do something wrong? Was it that feeding her starfish thing? Let me see a dog. Oh boy. Somebody once told me that I smell like wet dog. I thought it was a compliment, but maybe they meant that I stink. Maybe Asa hates me because I stink. I like their little, but if I stink, I guess that's that. Should I not sleep with the dogs? <laughs> uh, Denji. I mean, people do, but uh, I would do the, that only if you, like, bathe the, ba the dogs normally, you know? Sometimes my dog, like, sleeps in my bed, and it's like, yay, my dog. But then afterwards, my room smells like the fucking dog. It smells like dog. Dogs have a smell, Denji. Hey, dogs don't stink, right? Right? Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Hello, Yaru. Um, uh, Naita's gonna open that door and she's gonna be like, you fucking thief, you thieving bitch. I want this... Okay, she doesn't look quite six years old. She's a little tall for that. Ah, uh, actually, no. She doesn't look as tall as I thought she did. Okay. Six to eight. Maybe seven-year-old child. Opens up the door. Looks at the war devil. Points at her and is like, You thieving whore. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was a bit of a flashbang of a page turn. All right. It seems Yoru is now fulfilling the uh, fantasies of various people I've seen over the last few months. Anyway, um, wh grabs him on the head and nothing happens. It's like, well, shit. Then the door opens. The dogs come bursting in. They're going apeshit. Oh, that's a fucking hilarious detail, Fujimoto. Does she have, like, a belt on that they're all attached to? Because it looked like the way Makima had all those chains attached to people coming out of her stomach. Um, and her hair kind of looks just like Makima's there. Uh, has she gotten a new, new haircut? New hairstyle? Thief. What the fuck is that? Okay, so Naita has gotten a new haircut. She looks more like Makima now. Also, I just... Okay, wait, this is a new detail. I don't... Was this here earlier? We're going through the chapter a lot. Okay, you couldn't clearly see their names on it. They each have a potted plant. Denji's potted plant is totally fine. Naita's potted plant is dead as shit. Of course. So, um, I'm gonna assume that this is meant to kill Asa, but Asa's going to be alive because, you know, Yoru's there. Or it's meant to take control of her. Who knows? I mean, it's the chain and all. But it, it does go through her fucking head. So, I don't know. Uh, Fujimoto, this is only a 20-page chapter. When do we get the next one? Oh. Hold on. I need to make sure of this, because sometimes I'm kind of stupid. I do believe that is a Valentine's Day release. You're a cheeky son of a bitch, Fujimoto. February 14th. That is indeed Valentine's Day. Oh my god. <laughs> What are you going to be giving us for Valentine's Day, Fujiboto? What sort of uh, romantic literature will you be 
providing for us as sustenance in two weeks. I can't wait to find out. But with that, that's all I've got for this week's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do change some in chapter reactions and reviews every week. I've really been slacking on those reviews. I'll try to do one for this week's chapter. Uh, if you enjoy discussing Chainsaw Man with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.